Every car that comes here has a fucking problem. Fuck you. <laughs> Every car that comes here has a problem. Well, that's the point. Yeah, but can it be like minor issues to where it's so easy? Wow. I'm gonna bring the Rolls Royce and get it ready for you by the gas station. I'll see you there. What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Serio? <laughs> Just kidding, Vato. Hey, I'm too short. Can you uh, reach the mirror for me? See? Yeah. Man, easy for you. I have to put the tire, lock over the tires, and not even reach. I didn't break it. I didn't break it. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, shit. Look at this. Look. How? Oh. Who received this one? I... So you broke it? No, no. The, the other car. He's gonna cry, bro. Who? Who you think? Oh. <laughs> that looks like an old one, though. No. Oh. When they try to take it out, I think they break from this side. Oh. Yeah. The thing is broken, bro. I didn't do it. I, I'm not honest. No, I'm not, I'm not saying you did it. No, no, no. Fire me. No, I'll, I'll, I'll fire Joe before I fire Luis, because he's more, he's just a better human being than Joe. I can check the cameras and see. I don't know. Bro. You know what? This doesn't look like it's a new glass. I'm being honest with you. Where's the no, other one? No, the other one is not there. It's not in the car? Mm -hmm. You sure they didn't put the new one on and put the old crack one in here? I don't know. Uh, maybe let's should check that first. Out of the box. It didn't do it. That's it breaking. Oh my god. Sirens, vacuum cleaners, weasels, like this guy. That's probably like $20,000. A lot of the SVJs have a lot of options where you could get carbon fiber or not on certain areas. For instance, these mirrors. The mirrors were actually not carbon fiber. This customer wanted a carbon fiber. So we had our good buddies at 1016 overlay them. So now this is all carbon fiber. We also did the side skirts, as you can see down here. They used to be just black, black plastic. Now they're overlaid carbon fiber. The roof pieces were black. We overlaid them in carbon fiber. We changed out the steering wheel to a custom carbon fiber steering wheel. There's also a full coilover suspension coming from Novatech. We've been waiting forever for these parts. Unfortunately, it's taking time. So that's gonna be another phase of this vehicle. It's one of our favorite SVJs ever, so we always love to show you guys what we're doing here. Customer wants the car, this is temporary, so. This is not how we do the jobs. Customer wants the car, obviously we don't want water going in. He told us to put tape on the roof, he wants to drive it. We're not doing anything wrong, we're following the customer's directions. It's 3M tape, so it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive tape, by the way, guys. Each roll is like 60 bucks, so. You guys are the worst people. I'm gone for two weeks, they can't do shit. The customer wants the car, the top is back order. What do you want to yeah, do? Yeah, if I was here, I will get it. Two weeks, I wasn't here. Not, they not two up weeks, everything. guys, two weeks. <laughs> not two. And thing, not payable vacations. Hey guys, I need okay. to move the car. Tell them your TikTok, you have a TikTok? <laughs> no? No, no, I have a TikTok. How do you do the dance? Can you show rap, the dance? Rap. Yeah, like this. Now go, paint, now go paint the car. So now the top is done, guys. Ready for the customer. We're about to wash it, detail it. Well, we can't wash the top because the water's gonna go inside. Why? The guy's coming right now. It's fast, he'll get it tonight. You guys test the top? You guys are sick. Of course it's gonna work. Why would it not work? Hey, it works. Yeah, it's gonna rip again. It's gonna rip again, I'm telling you. Guys, we are here with this one-of-a-kind Senna right here. I have the door kind of open just to show you guys. This door is so light and it has glass window that rolls down and then obviously that signature glass inside the door and it's super light. But here's something really cool because you don't really see this often on a hypercar that has gullwing doors. It has soft closed doors. So you don't really have to do anything. You just kind of go down and it sucks it in really fast. So that's really cool on doors like this. It's very hard to get in and close it. So you just go gently and you pull it down and it'll just suck it 
Boom. So as you could already tell, carbon fiber everywhere, full exterior carbon fiber center right here. Everything, I mean, pillars, mirrors, side, bumpers, hood, wing, I mean, roof scoop, you name it, it's exposed to carbon fiber. The wheels are really dope from McLaren too, so no need to change that. It's got the red center lock on there, red brakes. And now you see all these red accents all over. All of this is with a wrap, so it's removable. We did pinstriping all along the bottom of the car. We did two pinstripes and big stripe in the middle hood of the car. We did red inside the roof scoop, red inside the side air intake vent. We did the center signature on the side right here in cursive red underneath the wing red on the rear bumper we also did the quotation on that side door over there the signature s's on the side wing everywhere i'm not the biggest center fan but this made me a center fan to be honest the interior is wild too with those bucket seats and carbon fiber i mean it doesn't get better than this little four carbon hyper car so i hope you guys enjoy it our good buddy zane sent this over from the bay area thanks for trusting us we've been doing a lot of his cars sf90 rolls royces all kinds of stuff and he has the same mindset as me work hard achieve greatness and he comes from nothing and he built himself up to this and more more coming from zane and i hope the best for him again thank you zane for trusting us with this beast you could have trusted a lot of people but you trusted rdb i want to show you guys a little bit of the interior you have the screen right here it looks like it's floating because you can't see the back of it when you're the driver so really cool right there you got this uh center console right here with your drive neutral reverse launch button all that a lot of storage area in here as you can see i have my walkie-talkie phone your key goes right here still pretty good storage for a center pretty good room too but check out this whole area up here this is where your engine start is so obviously you hit that right there and these are where your window buttons are and this is actually where you open the door from so windows open from here door opens from here you press this fan button and you could get into your ac controls there's also a race button here that you press and hold it takes about two minutes to go into race mode the car slams down and all that stuff and really really cool so yeah your window opens from here and it's very very small it's about uh four inches and that's all you get with this car as you can see my hand barely fits in there and you know that's all you need in this car I hear it in my voice but man this car is so sick also i gotta be very careful because we're in la and we're on sunset boulevard and we're just doing regular cruising thank god i have massive insurance under me i don't want to drive this car very long <laughs> so we have to probably put that in your car because it won't it won't fit in here can you just put the plates on that's it uh those are the uh those are the springs original springs for the for the car the stock springs so he's gonna take them with them because you don't want to lose those those are very expensive and i'm sure he's gonna need it down the line again maybe go back to stock one one day so how in the world does a six foot guy fit in this car just don't understand how a six foot two guy fits in this car you know i think this car is made for like people who are like three foot eight inches or three foot nine inches or something like that so small in here I lifted the suspension for you too. Thanks, boss. Yep, you got it. Okay. I just lost 10 minutes of my life getting in and out of that car. Jesus. Hey, look at the gas prices, man. It's crazy. What happened to the good old days? You know? It's like now it's not even about affording a car or trying to afford a payment or buying a car or leasing a car to deal with. Now it's about trying to afford gas. You can buy a car, but you can't afford to fill it up. It's crazy. <laughs> you just have a sit in your garage and look at it and cherish it and get happy every time you look at it, but there will be no gas inside. I mean, I think it's time to buy a scooter at Home Depot. They're like 450 bucks, really good. And then you can bring it to RDB and then we can wrap it, customize it. And then after we're done, we can just have a, a hey, oh, nice. Javi, so let me ask you a question. It's a very, very important question. Why did Vic name you a nice special nickname? Javier, make it to break it Salazar. What the hell does that mean? Make it to break it Salazar. When you're working on something, you break it and then you make it. That's a bad that's a bad name though for you because you don't break anything. You're actually pretty good. Yeah, this is something that you would put on your car. I would. Yeah. yeah. This is better than RDB wheels. Are these heavy? Yeah. Oh, they're light. It's light. They're very light. It's so light. It's big light? Yeah. Oh wow, it's like your brain. <laughs> what are you doing? Building a McDonald's? How do you make so much noise? The funny thing is there's all that noise coming, there's no car. 
In usual Shalizi fashion, we just got his Alpha 16 GTR you guys saw in the previous episode. And he already has replacement wheels because he doesn't want those drag wheels. OG Advan racing wheels right here in gloss black. Perfect for that car. Uh, 20 inch, super light. We have the tires. We have springs too. We're going to be installing springs on it. So let the mods begin. 